Hi, my name is Fatima and I did the Maker's Badge. I decided to make a watercolor painting that I named Go Float. One of the requirements for this badge was to go play with whatever it was that you were making. But because you can't play with the painting, I decided to buy acrylic paint and um, paper and just painted for that hour. I chose to make a watercolor painting because it's one of the few, thi few things that I enjoy making and that I can actually sit through and not get bored of doing. One of the things that I learned during this whole process is that I definitely need to give myself more room to be creative and to enjoy myself when being creative. Let's go ahead and see. For this video, I decided to interview four people. I placed the two youngest in one group and the two oldest in another. My idea behind this was to see the reaction that they would have depending on their age group. Let's take a look at the interviews. Okay, um, can you guys tell me your names? Hello, I'm Jack and I'm Sid. Your turn here. And I'm seven years old. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a painting, and you guys are going to tell me what you think and whatever you want to tell me about your painting. And whoever has the bunny, the bunny can speak, all right? So what are you going to do? Um, that it has um, colors. It has colors. And the dot. I mean, and a balloon and a person. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Um, there's like clouds, a black cloud. Do you want to show where you see the cloud? Where you see the clouds? Like point where you see the clouds? Like everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah, because he went up the sky. He went up the sky? If you were going to make a story out of this painting, what would your story be? Um, make up a story, anything. One day, he picked up a balloon and it came up of the sky. Yeah? Mm, yeah. That's cool. Alright. What do you think, Hexi? I think I think that the sky is really dark and it looks like there's a storm with a kid out with no head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there anything else you want to say? Uh, the balloon is gray? The balloon is gray, yeah. If you were to make a story out of this painting, what would your story be? It would be something scary. Something scary? You think it's scary? Do you like something about it? Uh, yeah. What do you like? The different colors. The different colors? Jack, what do you like? Um, the colors in the lake. How you made the black sky because it looks real. It looks real? Like a tornado. How does this make you feel? Anyone can answer. Go. It makes me feel like a little bit nervy. Yeah. What about you, Hexi? It makes me feel scared. Scared? Do you know why? Scared? Do you know why? Or yeah. Why? We don't know what's going to happen to him. Okay. Do you think it's a boy or a girl? Or can or you can't tell. I know. I think it's a girl. You think it's a girl. I think it's a girl too because I see the hair. You see oh. hair? Yeah. Okay, you can you can point where the hair is. Okay, that's cool. Is there anything else you guys would like to say? <laughs> um, Jack has the bunny, so go. Um, I like the colors mm -hmm. and how, like, you made that. And I, I kind of like the balloon, too. 
You like the blue one? Yeah. What do you want to say? My name is Emily. This is my first year of college and I'm in PS major. My name is uh, Dante DaCosta. I'm a criminal justice major and this is also my first year of college. Okay. Um, what do you guys think about the painting? Um, the painting's unique and to me it kind of looks like you're kind of having like a bad day and you're just in a bad mood. And you know, the sun just comes along and puts you in like a really good mood. Really good mood. Okay, what do you think, Emily? I think it's a pretty deep picture. I agree with Dante. Seems like maybe you're kind of stressed out and there's like a whole bunch of things going on, but then there is a bright side to it as well. How does it make you feel? Impressed and happy at the same time. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> to say that. <laughs> or like maybe like make you think of when you were overwhelmed. So there's a and when you're in a place where you're stressed out or overwhelmed. If you had to make a story out of the painting, what would your story be? <laughs> I would say maybe when you're going through something hard and you try to remind yourself that, you know, you're almost at the finish line or that it's going to get better. Right. I guess my story would be like, you know, even though you're in a bad spot right now, right now, you just got to get your head out of it and just realize all the good around it. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? It's fine if you don't. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. All right, thank you. During this experience, I learned that I really do love art and being able to express myself throughout it with drawings and colors and anything that has to do with art. One of the things that I was very excited for was being able to put everything that I find stressful aside and just taking the time to be creative and express myself. Something that was very challenging during this whole process was, was deciding what I wanted to draw and what I wanted to paint and the colors that I really wanted to use. I think my final project wasn't exactly what I envisioned but it wasn't terrible and I am very happy with what I came up with and what I did at the end of the whole process. If I was to redo this whole experience, I think I would definitely buy a different type of watercolor painting paper just because the one that I bought wasn't the greatest. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the greatest. And um Based off of everything that I learned during the whole process, I do consider myself a maker. I believe that if you can make anything with your hands or anything, if you make anything at all, you should be considered a maker. And I enjoyed it a lot and I definitely recommend someone, anyone to sit down and to enjoy themselves and just create something that they find fun to create. I hope I inspired everyone who watches this video to sit down and take the time out of their day to not just just create a painting but anything really that you enjoy doing because it's good for you and it's fun. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.